What's going on, everybody? Working on a 1968 Drip Edge Super Reverb that needs some work, and I'm swapping the speakers. Doing a voiceover. As you can see, a lot of stuff's changed, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it sounds great, and it's all, you know, as far as I know, proper values. Needs a tube change. We'll throw some old RCAs in it by the end of this video. So, we started uh, swapping these speakers. They're all ceramic. Not sure on the top two. The, bo the bottom right's a pile driver. The bottom left was a, some kind of vintage Weber speaker or vintage series. But I picked up some pretty cool speakers to put in, which I'll talk about in a bit. I forgot to talk in these videos, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover. But I got this amp from a friend of mine's family who recently died, and uh, they wanted to give me something to remember him. So uh, I figured I'd get this rig up and rolling and play it and, you know, give it some life. But as you can see, we're just changing the speakers here. It needs a whole new grill cloth and everything as well. So we're replacing the speakers with these old Alnico speakers I found on uh, on eBay. Taking all this stuff out, some Weber and maybe special designs, I'm not quite sure. But getting these going. These old Alnicos from 58. Change of tubes and uh, yeah, it's gonna be glorious. So yeah, my dad found these speakers for me on eBay and he sent them my way. I was definitely interested. They're from 1958. All the magnet charges are still the same as when the guy got them. He repainted them blue, and they were reconed properly. Everything's made in America, seamed cone, all that stuff that you'd expect from a good Alnico of this kind. And they really sound just unbelievable. Uh, you'll hear it at the end of this video, quick clip. And I, I have to do some more work to this amp. I just put some old RCAs and it needs a new baffle and grill cloth and drip edge. So that'll be in another video to come. But thanks for watching and uh, take this clip here at the end and let me know what you think about how it sounds.